Now let me show you how this car drives. So I turn on the key. System activates. Display is also active. We'll put it to the amps so we can see the consumption in amps. So we are in the forward direction. So the gear shifter should be in forward. And we can start by using, for example, the second gear. And normally, since this is the electric, it will not start until we press the accelerator pedal. So since we, when I t press accelerator pedal, the car starts. Clutch is not needed for starting. Clutch is only needed for changing the gears. change any gears for now so you can see the consumption here and speed and acceleration we are still in the second gear as you can see nothing changed and if I release the accelerator you see regenerative braking showing it's charging so this is the negative when discharging and I stop discharging and if I release and it shows the positive as charging the car battery so to go the, in the reverse now I will just leave it in second gear and just switch to reverse and turn off turn on the car as you can see the car is very quiet no any neighbors can even hear me driving in the car you can see only, you can hear only tires spinning. Now we are at 320 amps, 60 miles an hour, still didn't change any gear. As braking, no need to use the clutch. You just keep all using, only using the accelerator pedal. So, for example, now I'm braking, so just I release accelerator pedal, and if needed to brake stronger, just push the brake. No need to use the clutch when braking, since the accelerator, uh, since the electric motor will stop fully. If not, it's not the same as the uh, petrol engine. since we don't uh, I'm helping with the brake now discharging again now I release the throttle and it's charging again so depending on the gear you are in or the speed you are driving at that's that's the also the region power it will return in the battery We still didn't change any gear, but this is because we are driving on the small streets. If we go on some in some traffic or fi uh, faster roads, then we would need to change gears. Now I will show you how to change gears. So we are driving, let's say in 30 miles per hour. 
now I want to change the gears so it's the same as in the normal car just change to the third gear and we continue to drive if I want to change to the fourth gear I can also do the same just using the clutch as in the normal car but this is not the same as normal car because we can fully stop in the third gear for example if I release the throttle we can fully stop in the third gear as you can see we are now fully almost fully stopped and we can remain in the third gear I just press the accelerator pedal and we start So only difference is depending on the gear you are in so for example if you want to start faster then you put it in the lower gear so for example a second gear and if you want to start slower then you put it in the gear like third or fourth gear so you can start slower in the higher gear or start faster in the lower gear also region braking works better in lower gear than in the higher gear but the best is to change gears depending on the motor sound something similar to driving the petrol engine car but no need to change gears that much and don't need, no need to use brakes that often use much less brakes than before so for example we are now still in the third gear driving all the time even when cornering Please keep subscribe and see our videos where we show how we are driving the other vehicles.